Welcome today to a new video. If you're new to my channel, I'm Eva. I'm a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, herbalist, and fertility coach. Today, we'll be talking about how I make a tincture, and we're going to use a double extraction. So if you want to know, stick around, and we'll see each other just in a second. in the intro we are going to make a double extraction tincture what that means Your herbal ingredients and half part in alcohol the folklore method is just using the herbal ingredients and in, i always use dried form and if you want to use fresh you can use that also but i will show you that in my course uh, the folklore method is like using one third of your herbs to two parts of alcohol and let it sit for a minimum of four to six weeks. And I personally do six weeks. Um, you can do it also quicker, but that's up to you. So I'm going to show you how I make a double extraction and why I really love the double extraction is like you decoct uh, the herbs. What a decoction is, if you don't know, is a longer period of time of simmering so if you make like, for example, a tea, it's just like what they say, like five minutes of simmering and it's ready. Or you just have the tea bag and you put boiled water and in five minutes and you put out the herbal ingredients. If you have an infusion, you will uh, infuse the herbs for a minimum of two to four hours. Or if you want to, you can have them like fill your jar with your herbals and then fill it up with boiled water and let it sit overnight. The reason that this is more effective is like, think about it as wine. The longer it sits, the more the ingredients and the, the breaking of the cells of the herbs gets into the water or in the alcohol. And some herbs are the components that they have aren't water soluble. So you have water soluble components in an herb and you have alcohol components that can be extracted only in alcohol. There isn't an expiry date on tinctures, but I personally think that the best time to consume is in within the three years due to losing the potency as each year goes by. Just a quick tip though. So regarding the decoction method, and the double extraction method. I love to use this because some herbs, for example, roots, barks, uh, they are harder to extract the therapeutic components. So that's why they need a longer time to extract. So what we did is I already measured it out and I will take you with me to show you. <laughs> Here we see the herbal preparation and we have doubled the amount of water in volume. For example, if you have 200 ml needed for the decoction, double it as you boil it, you eventually get some evaporation. If there is a little bit more evaporated than your calculations, then you could just top off with distilled water or a canyon water or spring water. That's, those are the best options. I don't really prefer tap water. So for the alcohol part is you take the other half of the herbs. For example, if you have like 100 grams of herbs, 50 grams will go into your herbal decoction and 50 grams will go into the alcohol extraction. Oh, so what I'm going to do is I will pour my alcohol that I have calculated in my jar and I will let that sit. We will leave a half hour, a minimum, just the herbs on its own in the water. The wall cells are breaking open and you get more out of your therapeutic herbals. 
And we will come back and we'll show you how it is slowly boiling because after half an hour, we will start heating our stove, add it to a boiling point. And once it is boiling that I will show you, we will turn it to a medium and simmer it for a minimum of 30 to 40 minutes. If you do have aromatic herbs in your herbal preparation, for example, mint or schizandra berry, you add them in the last five minutes of your cooking cycle. So, so it has been 30 minutes that it was in the water sitting without doing anything. I just turn off the stove and I will show you how it looks like when it's at a boiling point and we will come back. It isn't at a boiling point yet. You will see this foam building up on the surface. And once you see, you don't, you can't see them yet, but once you see the tiny bubbles that it is making, you will switch it off on medium heat for a minimum of 30 to 45 minutes. Remember, so, as mentioned, we are in the last five minutes of the cooking cycle. We are going to add our mint to the decoction. And I already measured it out in my little beautiful leaf. And it is smelling so divine. Once we have done the five minutes, if you have like a timer on your stove, that is great. Put it five minutes and it will beep once the five minutes are over. If not, don't go away from the stove. Okay, so the five minutes are up. We are putting out our stove and I will take you a little closer. Okay. And I will take my decoction as it is hot and just wait I will do it with my right hand to give you a better optic view even though I'm a lefty and just strain it all out perfect so my decoction has cooled down and we are just adding it into the alcohol part and close it up, we label it up with the herbal formulation, the water amount, the, the alcohol amount, and the date that you made it. Today, I hope you like this video of making an herbal tincture with the double extraction method. I love you all. Hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to share your love with me by subscribing and hitting the bell button.